Hey down, this is Dave Decide. Today I want to get into what happened with V at a shop in DC and what people believe to have been a private date. I also want to get into a specific John Cook body part that is being talked about. So hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling and tea spilling mug merch and let's get into it. The first thing that we need to talk about is John Cook and his body part that trended and why it trended. This was something it seemed like he tried to hide for us for a little bit. It's a tattoo. As we definitely were surprised when we found out. Out. And this also kind of drives home the point when BTS members do their own thing or have private time together They're not always stalked by paparazzi Otherwise, we'd know about the tattoo earlier So while we can be concerned for paparazzi during their comeback time during their breaks I would say they would be okay and somewhat able to have a normal life But I'll get more into that later Anyway, when Jungkook was heading to the airport to come to the US and fly to New York Fans noticed that Jungkook had something on his wrist His wrist ended up being a topic of conversation and people were talking about about a black spot that they had not seen before. Jungkook has a full sleeve tattoo, but typically it cuts off right at the wrist, but this time it extended and it really wasn't clear what it was. People just freaked out that he got something new, as it's been a while since we have noticed any new tattoos, or at least real new tattoos, not like shadows that we assume are tattoos. So that kind of ended there, because unless we see Jungkook in a t-shirt soon, we wouldn't be able to know what exactly it was. But recently a clip came out, I believe this was after the BTS White House visit. The members decided to go and do their own thing, and we ended up seeing various clips of some of the individual members having fun. We saw Jungkook, Jimin, and J-Hope, I believe, coming together with the artist Her and playing hoops at an arcade. It looked like everyone had so much fun and everyone was surprised to see the members interact and spend a day with another artist. Since it's no surprise that Her is half black, half Asian artist, mostly black passing artist, it's great to see that BTS preaches what they say. There's no discrimination in their heart and they want equality and love for all and they definitely welcome all races to be their friend. In this clip there was a subtle moment where we saw Jungkook's arm and it was quick. It was just half a second but armies did screenshot and notice it. It ended up going viral and speculated that it was a snake tattoo. It does appear like a tattoo so we know that it could be true but if it's a snake tattoo or not it's still up in the air. However armies were surprised at the possibility of a snake tattoo. Snakes can represent many things in art and in the world of tattoos. There's always theories and thoughts that a tattoo is simply just that. They just like how it looks on them. But armies and myself included, like to really analyze and see what the definition could mean as we like to kind of see what Jungkook's real personality is. And you can often tell by tattoos. Snakes are not what you would consider necessarily an evil tattoo, but if you wanted to interpret it like that, I guess you can. But it typically means the changing of the seasons. Snakes also represent rebirth and fertility. This is because they shed their skin and basically become reborn. A a snake tattoo could also represent how Jungkook feels this might be a new chapter of his life. An anthology album represents a closing of an old chapter and opening of another. BTS being at the White House can represent a new chapter for acceptance of Asians in America. So I feel like this theory of his tattoo is a nice one. It wraps everything up sweetly. Now while the 3J, Jungkook, Jimin, and J-Hope enjoyed their time at an arcade and goofing around, it seemed like Taehyung wanted to enjoy his time trying some of the local cuisine and he ended up being allegedly followed by a paparazzi or what the internet is assuming is a stalker fan. People assumed it was a stalker fan simply because BTS gets this a lot, where a lot of private photos and videos are leaked to the internet and private pictures are sold to people. And an idol's privacy is not always respected. So the fandom is more sensitive to that and more likely to call more things that in order to attempt to protect the boys. So again, I think this was after the White House visit and Tan went to visit a restaurant called Dakaya. This is a fancy ramen place. Perhaps Biden's staff recommended it, but if BTS was coming from the White House or maybe just leaving their hotel after the White House, the paparazzi could easily see where the car was heading and just go to the restaurant to record footage. This could be what ended up happening. People were saying that Tan was extremely rude by not saying hi or not saying anything to the paparazzi. And it's alleged that Tan does greet the Korean journalists or paparazzis. But then also some people are saying that Tan did greet or say something to the paparazzi. But Tan doesn't have to say anything. And while journalists and paparazzis do get the celebrity name out there, these photos and videos can sometimes be twisted into something negative. Tan wouldn't want to interact with a foreign paparazzi not knowing what they want to do with this footage and or interact by God forbid saying anything when he may or may not understand what it is the paparazzi is saying to him. Imagine saying hi after the paparazzi may have just said something to insult you or whatever. Now it's seen like Tan is being sarcastic or whatever. I don't know. Now the paparazzi did no such thing but it can be a safe 
safety thing for Tan to just not acknowledge if he did indeed not acknowledge. This is definitely a moment I don't think was called on by a publicist. So if you aren't aware, most paparazzi moments that you see are called on by a publicist who works for the label. That's the only way the paparazzi knows exactly where to go at the exact right time or someone leaks the information like just a person who has an inkling that a celebrity might be somewhere. In this case with a restaurant it could be likely that someone maybe a customer or a guest of the ramen shop or whatever heard that BTS was in DC and that this is a popular ramen shop and for an hour or so will be entirely booked just for one person. So maybe a customer was like why can't I book this spot? Is BTS going to be there? There's so many possibilities as to how this paparazzi knows because the paparazzi also referred to Tang as BTS meaning he probably wasn't someone who entirely kept up with BTS to know all of their individual names so it couldn't have been a stalker. Other theories could be that it's a big fancy restaurant then the paparazzi just might wait outside a couple of these places and see if BTS will show up since they're said to be in DC. Nobu in California several of those places always have paparazzi waiting outside. There's a few places in New York like that too and sure enough a celebrity will appear. I'm pretty sure this footage was from a paparazzi and not a stalker fan but the internet is torn. The difference between a paparazzi and a stalker is what a paparazzi does is legal. They don't go into stores and follow the idol into stores. They don't touch the idol, none of that, while stalker fans cross this line all the time. People were also saying that Tang's privacy was so heavily invaded and disturbed and that he looked uncomfortable. It's definitely an uncomfortable event, but I do think it's weird to get upset about this still. I can understand if this was the first year ever that BTS has ever gotten paparazzi. Then you can be a bit concerned on how they're dealing with it mentally. But BTS always seems so comfortable and couldn't care less about the paparazzi. They're just gonna go and do their own thing. And they seem used to it, especially since it's comeback season, they're not on vacation. But when Taehyung went to the shop, he didn't go alone. He probably went with his manager, bodyguard, and maybe other staff. There were people saying that a woman appeared with Taehyung and people assumed that this was Taehyung's girlfriend. I think it was just staff. But given that a lot of the K-pop fandom who are Blackpink fans want the quote unquote bad attention away from Jennie, they're trying their best to stick V with someone else as to stop the hate that Jennie is getting. And then people think that Tang showing up with this woman was his way of debunking the rumors. It's just so clearly just staff to me. She isn't really even dressed up. It's likely staff and V just went to the restaurant to either have fun with his staff or just try this ramen shop himself. Others were concerned for BTS and Tang's safety being in DC and saying that Tang would be forced to leave before he finishes enjoying his time there because there is no privacy. There's little laws in Korea and a lot of other places in the world around stalking and paparazzi. But this paparazzi culture came about in America a very long time ago and several laws were enacted after several Lindsay Lohan and Britney Spears paparazzi incidences where paparazzi almost killed the celebrities by parking their car in front of the celebrity's car or trying to sneak into people's apartments. All this stuff is not allowed in America anymore and the celebrities are protected by law. Like paparazzis do not hurt celebrities and most of the time will work for news stations so obviously the news station doesn't want to get sued by endangering a celebrity's life. So don't worry about that. I would honestly say celebrities are safer in America than other countries. BTS members and Tam have all specifically talked about how they feel about paparazzi and how they feel about stalker fans. They're obviously scared and don't like it but what do you think? Do you think V felt like he was forced to leave DC? Do you think he was on a date with this girl or was it just staff? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. I think it's this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.